Now, acid as glue, S for aspartate, S for aspartate, glue for glutamate. So, we should have an idea about the structure of aspartic acid and glutamic acid. Even if you forget the exact structure, it's okay, but have idea that CH2, COOH, this is aspartic acid. If I count the number of carbon, you will say, sir, 1, 2, 3, 4. Four carbon atoms are there. And we know wherever carboxylic group is there, carboxylic group ionize, carboxylic group ionize to acquire which charge? Yes, carboxylic group ionize to acquire negative charge. So now I will say if it is ionized, aspartic acid is ionized, I will say it is aspartate. This is not a new thing. We have discussed this same part with acetic acid. If I say, yes, just to recall, CH3COOH, this is acetic acid. If it is ionized, CH3COO minus, this is acetate. So acetic acid, acetate, acetyl coenzyme are same. In the same way, aspartic acid, aspartate are same for question purpose. So don't get confused. Although if to be more precise, if they ask question, aspartic acid, how much charge? You should say aspartic acid is not having charge. But this aspartic acid, H ion will be gone and this will acquire negative charge and now it will be called aspartate. For question purpose, aspartic acid and aspartate are same, having which charge? Negative charge. In the same way, this is CH2, CH2, COOH. How many carbon? Please do comment. Yes, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, how many? Yes. So five carbon atoms are there. So you will find that is glutamic acid. Glutamic acid. I told you glutamate, glutamine, glutamic acid. Yes, alpha ketoglutarate. How many carbon? Five carbon atoms are there. So number of carbon is important. Glutamic acid will ionize to acquire which charge? It will ionize to acquire negative charge. Yes, negative charge. Glutamate. Now it is called glutamate. When questions are asked, if you have these number of carbon and basic structure, new question can be solved because nowadays they are twisting the question. I will show you what is the importance of this structure. Again, I am saying if you will forget, I am not concerned. But if you will have idea, little bit idea, so it will help you to remember different questions or solve different question in your exam so aspartate glutamate we know and they are having negative charge so acidic amino acids are having negative charge okay we found that wherever wherever carboxylic group is there wherever carboxylic group is there yes it can bind with ammonia carboxylic group is there it can bind with ammonia so if Aspartic acid bind with ammonia, it will form asparagine. Glutamate bind with ammonia, it form glutamine. Okay, glutamine. So, asparagine and glutamine. Now, I make simple mnemonic. Alpha keto glutarate bind with ammonia. Yes, to form glutamine. Glutamine. You will remember this. So, if alpha ketoglutarate is there, it can bind to ammonia to form glutamate. It can bind to ammonia to form glutamine. Clear? In the same way, oxaloacetate is there. It bind with ammonia to form aspartic acid or aspartate bind with again bind with ammonia to form asparagine you can't afford to forget this thing so only difference i have discussed many time question has been asked that auxiliary state is having how many carbon four carbon aspartate i just told you how many carbon four carbon asparagine how many carbon four carbon the only difference is of amino group Okay, 
सो दिस क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्क इन आवर एफ एम जी टू थ्री टाइम्स दैट ऑक्सिलेट इज प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम विच अमाइनो एसिड यस एस्पार्टिक एसिड और ऑक्सिलेट कैन बी कन्वर्टेड टू एस्पार्टिक एसिड so till now we know acidic amino acid is acid as glue and they are having which charge negative charge